took the back door to my mind. What would you do if black were white and white were black? If dark was light and light was dark, how attached to duality are you anyway? Are you willing to take another look? What if we told you that the denseness of your carbon-based body is one of your most delusional illusions? Do you know that you are actually an informative energy system that is actually a carrier wave simultaneously, light and dark? If you knew that was true, how important would the light of the dark be to you? Well, that is what we are saying. You live life moving around in a physical body that feels solid to you. Feels solid. How do you feel the solidity? Is it when you touch your arm with your hand? Is that what solid feels like? How do you know what the feeling of solid is? The idea of solid has been created by your mind. How do you know it is correct in its belief of solid? What if that feeling you are calling solid or physical is actually only your mind comparing what it thinks is not solid to what it thinks is solid? Do you see how deceptive the delusion is? David Ansel. This gadget guy is a physicist and a man who wants to share the simple secret of X-ray vision using a standard handycam. The manufacturer brought out a range of handycams which had a neat feature. You could remove the infrared blocking filter and let all the light which the sensor could detect into the camera. This meant that it could see infrared light. So it's not really X-ray, but infrared light waves that go through all sorts of things that visible light won't. A camera with night vision capability just needs a few small tweaks and a few dollars worth of accessories to see through things. First, you need to make your camera sensitive to infrared light by removing the infrared filter. On this camera it's really easy. All you do is flick this switch here. So now the camera can see both visible light and infrared light. So then what you've got to do is block the visible light. So you want to take a filter, one of these, which blocks visible light beautifully and put it in the front of the camera. Now all the camera can see is the infrared light. Check this out. Look at Dave's electric shaver. Now, look with the infrared camera. You can see right inside and see all those lovely in innards. Want to read your mail without having to open it? With the infrared camera, you can see the picture inside. This works because infrared waves slice through barriers like paper and dyed plastic. Your physical reality is comprised of symbols of what you see within and then project out with your mind. What you are seeing was first created within your image screen, your imagination, within your own mind. Then you see it. We are making this point because we want you to know this. You are an information carrier. A wave of energy that carries data streams. When your reality occurs, you perceive your world as giving you knowledge about all of the objects that appear to comprise that domain in a linear, time-oriented, dual fashion. You react to what you are perceiving. Sometimes you are aware enough to respond rather than react. If whatever you are doing, it appears to be caused by what your perception tells you is out there. This is what you are accustomed to in your version of your reality, and this is where you've got it all backwards. What is out there is there because of you, your perception. Though the information looks like it is coming from the outside into you, it is actually you sending your wave of information and comprehending what it projects. Then you react or respond to your own projection. This is the basis for the separateness you feel. It is also the basis for the times when you say you feel stuck, or that you keep repeating the same patterning over and over again. Know this. It is impossible for you to be stuck anywhere, at any time, in any space. Because you are a constantly undulating stream of information being projected out into space.
color is determined by which frequencies or which colors of the rainbow are, are present in the light that comes to us from some object. All objects absorb some kinds of light and reflect other kinds of light. And we see what comes back to us, that combination of spectra or that combination of, uh, of colors, and assign to it a single color or a, some kind of a, a color mix uh, that depends on what frequencies are actually reflected back to us rather than being absorbed by that material. So white light from the sun comes along and reflects off any object that we see. Um, if uh, that object happens to reflect a lot of the light, all colors, then whatever it is looks white. For example, clouds look white because they reflect all of the colors pretty much equally. On the other hand, when the light goes through simply, uh, simply straight through the sky, all right, through all the uh, very uh, low density molecules of gas in the upper atmosphere, uh, a good bit of the red and even the green continues to go on through without being scattered or affected. On the other hand, blue light is, is uh, scattered much more by the atmosphere, by the gases in the upper atmosphere, and comes down, gets, uh, gets scattered down towards us. So when we look back up at the sky, it looks blue because we don't see as much of the red and, and green light. Uh, when we look at a sunset, sunsets look red because as the sun's light comes through the atmosphere, a lot of the blue, almost all of the blue in fact, gets re 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 reflected out, gets scattered out, and even much of the green gets scattered out, leaving only the red. So red light is then the, the color of a sunset, and blue is the color of the sky for the same reason, that blue is more predominantly scattered by the atmosphere than red. This is what is happening in your world right now. There is a swing in the dual polar dimension, shifting the direction of the flow, so that rather than always perceiving your projections, you are beginning to actually flow into your reality wholly. Your body, your carbon-based informational stream is becoming less dense, finer, able to be more balanced in its conductivity. Rather than projecting out into your perceived reality and reacting to your projection, you are beginning to merge your energy into your environment without needing to define your edges, which are your polar boundaries. This aspect of you is manifesting because you are increasing the frequency of your energy stream, thereby expanding your dimensional access. You are becoming more aware of other planes of existence and are living within them. Because when you realize that all of the states of spirituality you say you wish to accomplish, experience, or attain, whatever concepts you are dealing with, it is all contained within this wholeness. It doesn't make any difference whether you call it enlightenment, ascension, light body. None of it makes any difference if you keep projecting out your pre-selected information, experiencing yourself as dual and not letting in that which is the wholeness itself. Reversing your polarity in a polar world does one thing. It takes two parts and makes one composite whole. Then all you will be experiencing is the wholeness, that and nothing else. Then the feeling of solidity will be as ephemeral as you truly are. A stream of energy emanating from the eminence, neither only light nor only dark. Simply a pure emanation. The eminence itself. Took the back door to my 